the 60 second recaps top five things you need to know to understand Wuthering Heights after this. One. The first character you meet, Mr. Lockwood, is the least important character in the novel. His main role is to be an observer, like you. You'll feel more of a connection with him if you realize that he's also learning the story of Catherine and Heathcliff for the first time. Two, if you feel confused at the beginning of this book, remember this, you should. The story doesn't start at the beginning. It starts just over a year before the end. Three, half the characters you'll need to know are dead at the beginning of the novel. Don't worry, Nellie Dean, the main narrator, will fill in the pieces for you. The story really starts to make sense starting in chapter four. Four, almost all the characters share names and family connections. There are two Catherines, several Lintons, and at least three characters whose names start with the letter H. Try writing the characters down as you meet them. It'll make them easier to remember. Five, if it seems like everything is repeating itself in this story, the names, the events, the violence, you're right. And while this can make the book confusing, you can find out what Bronte was up to in Recap 8.